Hey, what's up everybody? Today, I'll be going through some tips and tricks to help you master the axe in Dauntless. I will set you on the path to axe mastery. Now, first things first, combos. What is the best combo? Well, it's light, light, heavy. Heavy. You start with a vertical attack, you poke, then you finish off with the horizontal heavy slam. I do want to mention the vertical ripper repeatable attack is great for building meter and draining stamina, and you will find yourself in need of that on a for the most part though, we want to stick with the first combo majority of the time. Axe is a slashing weapon that can deal plus 50% part damage when targeting behemoth tails or other severables. However, even though this is a slashing weapon, it still has the ability to stagger. This means when you fight a behemoth, you should start by targeting two parts of the behemoth, the front or the back. If you're playing with a group, I recommend going for the tail first. That is an easy part break that will stun the behemoth. Then go for the head to initiate another stagger. If you're fighting alone, it can be sometimes hard to target the tail as the behemoth will rotate. So try and go for the head. That will stagger it. Once it's staggered, then target the tail. And finally, finish off with the limbs. By now, the behemoth will be around half health, maybe less. You just have to break one to two limbs, and at that point, the behemoth should be dead. Now on to specials. What is the best special? Grim Onslaught. Grim Onslaught, you can deal up to 800 damage in a single toss. Combine that with its ability to generate meter by simply hitting a behemoth and or catching your axe on the rebound. This combination is easily one of the most satisfying gameplay designs in Dauntless, and that's just my opinion, but that's also why I am an axe main. <laughs> now, we also have Relentless Onslaught. You would think that would be better than Grim Onslaught, and on paper, it looks like it is but it's not while you can definitely have fun with this special and create some wonky builds if you're going for the most damage on your axe throws or just overall more fluid gameplay with the axe then relentless onslaught ain't it chief quick breakdown as to why first the stats say you can hit with all three throws 500 600 then a thousand damage on the last throw well it also says damage further increased by determination well when you land that fully charged axe throw on a behemoth, you get a measly 500 damage. Well, then you're like, okay, well, the next two hits will do more damage. Well, those next two throws will not do as much damage as you think because they are not affected by your determination meter because you have none. Remember, your axe throws with this build, or special, I should say, do not build meter, only the combo attacks, hence making it inferior to Grim Onslaught. Now that we got that out of the way, we finish off with Flight of Ruin. Easily one of the more cool looking abilities, looking like some shit straight out of God of War, but alas, it's still inferior to Grim Onslaught. Heck, even Relentless Onslaught. You can deal up to 500 damage with your slam and 60 damage during the spin attack repeatedly while also gaining two meter while that's spinning. Maybe somewhere in Dauntless's future, there's gonna be a place for Flight of Ruin, but that is not now. And again, not as good as Grim Onslaught, which I'll have you know, backwards is Onslaught Grim or OG. So that should tell you right there, it's the best. All right, on to mods. Best one, Overcharge Cylinder, easily. The only one you should ever do, it increases damage by 75% when you get your charge to level four and I just get out of town. Also, Overcharge Cylinder, OC, original character. We are all our own original character, are we not? Why would you not use this? Well, the next mod might be why. Rail Splitter's Canteen. This works great with Catalyst 6 in a Trials build. You can get under 5 minutes easily with that. Uh, it also has, you know, its places in some escalation builds too. Onto the arrest, lightweight half, movement speed while charging horizontal attack is now increased instead of decreased and no longer costs stamina to maintain. Dog shit. We want our stamina drain for adrenaline. Volatile axe core charging attacks deals AoE damage to nearby enemies at each charge level. No thanks. Pass on this one. Furious axe core. Perfectly charged attacks grant plus 15 meter on hit, but no longer grant resolve. This is useless. Don't use this ever. Now, how to stagger with the axe. The obvious answer would be your axe throw, of course, but what if it's on cooldown? 
Well, luckily, all axe attacks have the ability to stagger. The best way to stagger with the axe is to walk to the left or to the right and use a horizontal swing attack. You want to line the back half of the swing to hit the behemoth. The same thing can be done to airborne behemoths or jumping behemoths. This will take some time to master, so I would recommend going through Emberthorn Cove or Ulrich's Peak to practice your staggers. Best cells to use for your axe builds, Pulse, Adrenaline, Cunning, Overpower, Predator, Molten, and Catalyst. <laughs> Stop it! Get some help! Best lanterns, well there are none, but I recommend Coach Tai Lantern, especially with Discipline builds. It allows for great positioning, gives life steal, and does solid damage. You can also catch your axe on rebounds by dashing through it. Speaking of axe rebounds, did you know you can dodge right as soon as you catch your axe? To catch the axe and roll through a behemoth attack, not sacrificing predator and increasing meter. Pretty neat to do this, take some time, but once you learn how to do it, it's pretty easy to do. Now here's a final few tips to increase damage output and overall combat efficiency with axe. Always fully charge your axe attacks if you can. This will grant you the most meter and will also allow you to tank behemoth's attack with the resolve mechanic. Use pulse to time your throws. Wait until you see the mouth with teeth. Once that appears, throw your axe. That means your pulse is primed. If you're using Predator, look for this buff icon. This means Predator is activated. If you don't see it, you don't have the increased damage. If you're using Koshai Axe, you want to time your throw for the increased damage, then look for the cross swords with the number two. That means you're good to go. If using Adrenaline, don't forget to increase the damage of your throws by spamming the dodge right before to drain your stamina meter. And finally, practice, practice, practice. Practice makes perfect. I recommend practicing alone. While it may be incredibly frustrating, with the axe, this is the best way to learn. It's crucial you know the attack patterns, and how the openings with behemoths work. It can be sometimes hard to tell when a behemoth is targeting you and adjusting its attack pattern to you versus other people when playing in a group. So again, with the axe, if you're having trouble, practice alone. Learn the openings, learn the attack patterns. This has been Critical Agenda Gaming. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. And if you have any questions or concerns, please feel free to leave a comment below. Thank you so much for watching. Peace out.